Dear Journal. Dear Journal, I get around the theater and I just I just start thinking about all those young people who would love to be in the theater and they go to college and they study theater and then they get out into the real world and find an awful lot stacked against them. Unless, unless they are among the very few chosen each year to take their graduate studies here. Mr. Bruce! How are you doing? Good, how are you? Uh, pleasure as always. A pleasure, yeah, a pleasure, man. The pleasure's all mine. Well, uh, take a seat. Uh, the pleasure today. This theater, this stage, our college. Lewis head in if you section him again. He isn't ready to go. You heard him, he's unstable. Borderline personality disorder. But much more. Alcohol, oh yeah. You know Here, what? students work with and learn from professional actors who, who know the game. It's true, no, it's not true. It's it's like producing handmade cars. Our students uh, get a tremendous amount of personal attention. These handmade cars are the products of the Florida State University Oslo Conservatory, an intense three-year actor training program for graduate students. FSU sent the program down here, this part of the theater program, down to Sarasota 35 years ago to partner with Oslo Repertory Theater so that we have become one of the top actor training programs in the country. Didn't notice? I felt like thousands of students audition each year for this program. Out of the thousands, only a dozen are chosen. He's gonna scream, yeah, and make it look like a bike. It's sort of like you go to medical school and then they send you to a teaching hospital for a part of your education. So we're the teaching hospital for FSU, you might say, in acting. Superstition is defeated. A man is not afraid of dirt. And it isn't for the faint of heart. Students are dissected and put under a microscope before they can act on the same stage with professional members of the Oslo Repertory Theater. Cross that out. What, the whole lot? Everything after pastry cook. You'll be able to see on the Oslo Rep main stage the kinds of shows that most people can't produce because they can't afford to hire big acting companies. We provide the Oslo Rep with 12, 10 to 12 students every year to become part of that acting company. Including now, how much do I owe you? Five coffees and four cheese buns. Students like Kevin Stanfa in his third and final year of training. Yes, Mr. Novak. They make you feel like you can go out there and work anywhere. And what is grad school, but this institution that helps you and prepares you and can at least make you feel confident going out into what we all dub the real world. And what are we going to receive so that we could have something to give? For first year students, the real world training begins off stage. There is no acting for the first year of training. It's really about getting back to basics for all actors. I saw you at choir practice. You were at choir practice. I saw you. That's correct. The first year students, while they are not, they are not given the opportunity to act, they are, however, required to understudy on the Oslo Rep main stage. Uh, okay, okay, gentlemen, let's talk. Some An assignment that cannot be taken lightly. But I got called on to do my understudy role. I got called out of voice class for a matinee. So I had two hours notice that I'd be doing a show. And then I didn't want to be on stage so much. <laughs> Nobody's going to close the hospital because of one section three, are they, do you think? Yes, perhaps. Really? Yes. Today, Dane Clark is more comfortable in his role as second year student, performing on stage with his fellow classmates. What were we talking about on Saturday? When? After the rugby, what did we talk about? I don't know what. We produce a range of four plays that are from classical plays to contemporary pieces. They're chosen to suit the skills of the second year students and the personalities of the second year students. What's up? I'm going home. You should be happy. Well, I'm not as happy as you. You have to be on very good terms with yourself 
in order to accept all the things you have to do on stage, uh, and just the value of hard work. Say, say the don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, say it together. I'll send for you. Don't worry. Okay, r uh, reassure <coughs> me that you're not going to forget. I'll send for you. Yes, that's better. I have a great time with Barbara. It's nice to be um, just the, th the three actors and her and the stage manager in a room. It just creates a very comfortable, dedicated, ambitious, working toward the same creative kind of goal atmosphere. I I've always liked the play, and I've always found it very moving, and I've always been really interested in, in it in a slightly, I have to admit, in a slightly dispassionate way. By year three, students are full-time associate company members working shoulder to shoulder with Oslo rep professionals. They give us these lightweight uniforms because they don't expect us to live long enough to catch cold. Says who? In the third year, they get thrown into the professional rehearsal room, and that can be really daunting. And what these professional actors who are hired by the Oslo rep always provide is the kind of um, collegial support that's necessary that will help these students sort of move through their year of professional work. And I'm understudying a 70-year-old man. Good luck. Yeah, right? <laughs> the community also plays a supporting role for the students through sponsorships. And it's not simply a matter of handing them a check. These community members provide the kind of emotional support, familial support, that our students have given up in order to come down here. Like, should I keep them informed about things? Yes. Heck yeah. Absolutely. By graduation, students earn a reward as coveted as a good audience. They earn their equity card, the ability to join Actors Equity Association. Our students have appeared on some of the best regional theaters in the country, uh, uh, off-Broadway, um, on-Broadway, um, in film and television. The only thing he can think to ask is... What's that? That thing on your hip? Nothing. The star. And wherever they go, the Oslo will always be family. When you see the students, they can't see it from day to day. But when, when you see them and the growth that they're able to, to create from the time they come in until they t the time they graduate, you know, it really is very moving. Because they, they earn that with a lot of work, a lot of dedication and not too much sleep sometimes. You're, you're doing great, you really are. You're doing, I, I can't tell you how proud I am of you. Even more impressive, those unscripted moments that will last a lifetime. Enjoy it. Well, you're, gonna, you're gonna knock uh, them dead. The Oslo Conservatory Program is a great example of helping young people advance.